And this is the joke that started the bombing. I said, if you see a fat white girl smoking cools, wait a second. There'll be a half black baby come right around the corner. <laughs> what I really like do about doing these uh, last couple of jokes where I'm, either I'm talking about my wife being a, a, a Jew brat or, uh, you know, getting Mexicans to clean the house or a black man get your golf cart or, uh, or a Chinese. Is it so fun as me as a performer to watch all of the uh, white people look around the room and try to locate the nearest minority that I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, okay, the black guy's laughing. I guess it's okay. I guess I can laugh. <laughs> calm down, crackers, calm down. You need to know this, if you don't already. I am racially insensitive. I am culturally controversial. That is what I do, okay? I am not politically correct, and I wear that with pride. I, uh, I make no apologies. <laughs> I'm bombastic, I'm ostentatious, and I could give a fat baby's dick if you don't like me. So save your emails. Save your emails. <laughs> I don't care. I'm right. If you just look around tonight, you'll see a very, very mixed racially group of people here, okay? We got all shades of brown, okay? We got white, black, brown, okay? We got every religion here. We got it all, okay? All right? And it's awesome, all right? And I need that. As a performer, I need that, okay? Because if I have a crowd of all white people, I'm going to bomb bad, bad. Because white people need minorities to let them know it's OK <laughs> to laugh. They feel so much guilt. So before I move any further in my hilarious comedy show, I'd like a favor, friends. I'd like all the white folks to please look around the room and locate your nearest black person, please. Go ahead. Go ahead, take time, look around. If you ain't got no black folks near you, a Puerto Rican would do in a pinch. That's all you got. Everybody got somebody? All right. That's your go-to person, okay? All right? You gotta be looking at that person and making sure it's okay, all right? And, uh, and black folks, y'all have a responsibility. You gotta laugh, okay? <laughs> uh, if it's funny, laugh, all right? Because uh, white people are looking for you for direction, making sure it's okay. Now, come on now. <laughs> this was never more evident than uh, a couple years ago, I was playing West Palm Beach, Florida at a club there. And, um, and West Palm Beach, Florida is one of the whitest places on earth, east of 95, okay? Now, <laughs> east of Highway 95, completely white, okay? Um, it's so white, the sky caps at the airport are white, okay? <laughs> you land in West Palm, you're like, damn, how many supervisors they need? <laughs> how much you tip a supervisor? That's gonna be expensive. <laughs> I said this joke, and because there's no white people there to laugh, I ate it, oh my God. It was so horrible. And this is the joke that started the bombing. Nothing wrong with the joke, pretty good joke. I said, if you see a fat white girl smoking cools, wait a second, there'll be a half black baby come right around the corner. And by the way, if you're white and you weren't laughing hard at that joke, you really didn't bother to locate your nearest black person, did you? <laughs> so whose fault is it, damn it? I don't like that joke. Well, you didn't have a black person near you. <laughs> My favorite reaction to that joke is always from black women. It's not even a laugh. It's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Take us to the mountain, fat man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lord, Lord, Lord. 